Two and a half years ago, I self-converted my 1973 van to electric, and it now runs on recycled Tesla batteries. A few months ago, I drove that van two and a half thousand miles across the US. Unfortunately, I didn't quite manage to complete my cross-country trip, and although I have exciting plans to power the van fully by solar later in the year, I needed another project to jump into back in the UK. In my next video, I'm going to be sharing the beginning of my journey converting my vintage VW Beetle to electric, getting better trained in EV conversions, and checking out some other incredible projects right here in the UK. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on for this new series. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about a huge challenge that I have set myself over the next few months as I'm approaching my 40th birthday. Some of you may be surprised to hear that. It's surprising to me, to be honest. But I basically want to challenge myself to be the fittest and strongest I've been in my entire life by the time I turned 40. I think part of this challenge is that also, just before my birthday, Raya is due to give birth to our first child. And I'm aware that she's gonna need a lot of support. And in the coming years, as I'm gonna need to tap into uh, <laughs> a level of energy I've never been required to give before. I just want to be at my peak so I can have as much energy as possible and do all the things. I'm going to call this series Fit by 40. One thing a few of my friends say is that I've already got a good base level of fitness, but honestly, I've never had good aerobic fitness. I've always been out of breath very quickly when doing anything strenuous. And although I've managed to train before a little bit and get strength up, I still have had a terrible aerobic fitness and I really want to change that. Okay, the first part of this challenge wasn't actually my idea. As you may know, we've been living in the UK for just over a month now and we're close to a lot of friends, including our friend Steve. He's been training and going on regular runs and he has invited me out just to go on short runs with him. We started with like a 5K and then worked our way up. And this has been progressing over the last few weeks and honestly, it's been a real struggle. Even the first 5K run we did, uh, I was exhausted. Uh, that's about three miles, by the way. I've never enjoyed running. I've never been attracted to the idea of running. I always felt it was incredibly boring. I like doing sports and activities that are more fun. But I've really struggled to find things that push me to get the same intensity as running for my heart rate and blood pumping. And, you know, we, I did a long cycle ride a few years ago all the way down to Morocco. And there were stretches of that were that were intense, but most of it was just kind of plodding along and going and it wasn't pushing the intensity of my fitness. I'm sure I was pretty fit by the end of that, but I really want to push my fitness over the next couple of months. So a few days ago, Steve told me that he was entering a half marathon, which is 21 kilometers. I think it's 13 miles. And he suggested that I should enter that with him. Now, if you'd asked me that same morning if I'd ever enter a marathon, I would have said, absolutely no way. I had already decided in my head, look, I wanna do these shorter runs, these 5Ks, occasionally 10Ks, just to kind of find something sustainable that I can do multiple times a week just to stay fit. But somehow he talked me into it and now I've entered a half marathon. And honestly, I'm kind of dreading it. I really struggle running. I have very low body fat. I don't have much reserve to tap into when I'm pushing myself physically. So quite a few times in my life, I've pushed myself physically to the point of vomiting, collapsing, uh, because I've just run out of energy. I've run out of literally any reserves in my body. I think it's called being in a catabolic state where you basically, your body starts uh, breaking down its muscle tissue because there's nothing else to tap into. So uh, when I do extreme fitness things, I've always had to make sure that I'm getting enough calories, eating enough, making sure I've got reserves in my tank. And that is something I'm nervous of, is making sure I've got enough reserves to do a long endurance activity like a half marathon. And then an extra element to this challenge is I've set myself the ambitious goal of attempting to run my first half marathon in under two hours. And when I did some research, I found out this is usually a goal for experienced runners. So, I've been training and uh, this is going to be the first episode of a series of me challenging myself to do things and push my fitness and strength to get to my peak. I'm very excited to take you on this adventure, but I'm also 
pretty nervous and scared of pushing my body like this. And I'm kind of intrigued just to see what I'm capable of. So this is a different type of adventure and I think it's good preparation to be in top form when the baby comes. As part of this fitness journey, I'm gonna set up a little area on our back patio to do some strength workout, some recovery. So I've got a chin up bar, I've got a chest freezer that I'm gonna start doing ice baths in. Uh, and if you don't know, during the pandemic, I got into a great routine of doing five minute full submersion up to my shoulders, ice baths every day, which was incredible. And I think it's gonna come in handy, muscle recovery and mental focus for the next few months. Uh, I've also got an inflatable hot tub alongside the ice bath so I can jump straight in that and warm up again. But I'm gonna set that up today, it's a lovely day and I'm gonna go on a run later with Steve. He's been an incredible support and encouragement to me over the last few weeks and leading up to this half marathon. He's been such a good running buddy and coach. So I've really valued that. Oh, and these are some running shoes that Steve suggested I get. And these have been really, really good as well. Like such good support for my feet. I've never bought specific running shoes before, but they've been amazing just to give me a bit of cushioning because I think one of the things I was worried about with running was the impact that a lot of running can have on your joints. So uh, this has helped with that as well. Right, I'm gonna set up a little fitness area here in the back. Let's do this. There's a few bolts missing that I need to find. I'm gonna tighten it all up and then that is the chin up and dip bar finished. And then I just need to inflate the hot tub and put that into place and we are getting there. Whoa. Right, that didn't go to plan. Oh dear, the camera is so wet. It's slowly filling up, but it's getting there. This is my third ever run and we're aiming for 10k it's like six and a bit miles and we're about three quarters of the way through and with science Steve and Callie's come this is tough oh, I'm in a lot of pain my knees glutes quads Okay, we're 90% of the way there. Everybody move your body. Yes, right. Woo! Come on, what have we got there? Final stretch. We've got eight, uh, 800 meters left. Love. 700 meters left. Doing so well, bro. Out. Out on the Welsh countryside. Yeah, we're doing a little 5k run. Yeah, we're doing a little 5k run. Out on the Welsh countryside. Doing a little 5k run. Feeling good. How are you feeling, Steve? Feel good. Happy we got out today. Yeah. We had to do a little route search, didn't we? Yeah. Try and find a nice road to run on. And check it out. Pretty beautiful. Nice little country road. Me and Steve are doing our longest run together yet. I think I just beat my personal best on the 10K. I think we're nearing 12K now. I don't know what our end goal is, maybe 15, 14. I'm struggling, I'm having to push through, feeling very exhausted. The legs are heavy, running out of steam. But I'm pushing on to slog. All my joints are kind of hurt in my hips, knees, ankles, and then I've got calves, glutes, quads, hamstrings are all quite tight, achy, so I'm just pushing on. It's the final 800 metres. Ah, oh, I'm dead. First 15k. Oh. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. That was hard. Smashed it. It's not easy. Very windy as well, bro. A big thank you to OnePlus for sponsoring today's video. Collaborating with brands on my channel really helps me keep doing what I love. And with OnePlus, they've helped me on my journey to get fit by 40. The new Buds Pro 2 wireless earbuds are amazing. I've been using them for a couple of weeks now and they're perfect for listening to music and videos from my phone or laptop. Plus they fit nice and snug in my ears so I can zone in and listen to some motivational playlists to pump me up. 
One of my favorite features of these earbuds is their noise cancelling ability. If you haven't tried noise cancelling headphones before, you're in for a treat. It's like you're in your own little world. I've been using these headphones whilst training for my half marathon and they are perfect. The noise cancelling helps me focus on my music and my running without worrying about external noise distraction. And if I need to be more aware of my surroundings or chat with Steve, I can easily switch to transparency mode and hear everything around me more clearly. But what really sets these earbuds apart is their multi-dimensional soundscape. They have dual drivers for deep bass and balanced vocals plus spatial audio. That's like a cinematic surround sound. Not only are they super comfortable to wear, even for extended periods of time, they also come in two cool colours, obsidian black and arbor green. And with up to nine hours of battery life, you don't have to worry about them running out of juice in the middle of your run. So if you're looking for some great earbuds for running or everyday use, definitely check out the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. I'll link them in the description below. Right, I better get back to my training. It's a week today that we're doing the Brighton Half Marathon. I am feeling nervous. It's gone from doing a 5K so then going, oh Louis, let's try a 10K. And then it's like, Louis, how about we sign up for this half marathon? And it didn't take much convincing. It didn't take much convincing. Yeah. And it's exciting, mate. You've done so well. You've, 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 all of the runs that we've aimed to do, you've done. I think yeah. my main worry is running out of steam, like running out of energy, running out of the fuel in my tank. Mm -hmm. I think the cheering and like being around a lot of people hopefully will like stoke the morale a bit more as well. Okay, one Mate, week to go. So good. One yeah, week to go. Come on, one week out. <laughs> <laughs> right, I just finished a 12 kilometre run, which I think is going to be the last longer run we do before the marathon next week. How are you doing, boys? Good, that was a good one. Yeah. yeah that was nice. That was good. You guys are just going to smash over the weekend. <sighs> yeah, Sai si, unfortunately can't join us on the half marathon. But yeah, he's got a full marathon coming up. Yeah, one so. day, maybe one day for us. That's your next one, Louis. Uh, That's your next one. Well, somehow this marathon has snuck up on me and it's actually tomorrow. We're starting the marathon about nine in the morning and I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I don't enjoy very competitive things. And I know this isn't really a race and I'm just kind of setting myself a goal and running, but it feels like because there's a start and finish and there's multiple people participating, it feels like it, there might feel like some kind of competitiveness, but maybe not. I've never done any kind of run with a group of people before, uh, especially like an organized thing. So I don't really know what to expect, but Apparently with everyone cheering and the atmosphere, it's going to be really motivating. So I'm hoping it pushes me through. I'm going to do one more training run today with Steve just to loosen up the legs, kind of do a slow 5K just to kind of get ready for tomorrow morning. My main concern is running out of energy. I know I can do 15K. Question is, um, can I carry on at that pace without running out of energy or is my body gonna crash as I run out? So I've got to make sure in the morning I load up with a ton of breakfast and maybe like protein powder smoothies, giving enough time to digest so I'm not like feeling sick, but just so my body has enough calories. I've also ordered some little gels and they're like high energy gels that I guess are sugar basically. So yeah, that's the only concern I have is can I keep that pace up. Apparently we're starting the race in a kind of timed group that are trying to run it in under two hours. So I think it's 1.45 to two hours and there'll be a pace setter. Steve's gonna support me and help me. Yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I think this is a really great challenge as my first of many challenges just on this journey of getting my fittest, healthiest, strongest by the time I'm 40. And if I didn't mention, I'm doing it all plant-based as well. I've been plant-based and vegan for many years now and I'm feeling so healthy, so good. I just want to get my strength up and maybe I'll just continue to get in better and better shape as I dedicate more time. Also, I hope this series can inspire, maybe give a bit of motivation for people that are kind of on the sideline thinking, oh yeah, I should probably get in better shape or do a bit of fitness. Yeah, maybe this is your sign. Why don't you just do it? Just start, find a friend to do it with. That's the secret for me. I definitely couldn't do this on my own. Steve has been my rock. Uh, find a friend to do it, just start doing small little runs, even if you're just starting shorter distance, slower pace, build up, and it's slow and steady wins the race. Okay, let's get ready for a final little run. 
It's the night before the run and I was like halfway through dinner. I was like, oh, let me show you guys what Raya's made. Carb loading a little bit. So she made this amazing roast vegetable salad with chickpeas. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Also some lentil ragu and tons of pasta and some nutritional yeast and yeah just eating tons of food so I can have the energy to complete the half marathon tomorrow. And like I said before, all plant-based mm -hmm. and I'm proud that I've managed to train, get myself ready. Just came back from a run with Steve, feeling really good. We just did a little 5K just to get the legs moving. Are you proud of me? Yeah, I was gonna say like, honestly, when did you start, about a month ago? Yeah, literally a month ago. Yeah, basically the day before Louis started running, if you just said, what are the chances Louis is gonna run a half marathon next month? I would have bet all my money, no way. The number of times you said you hate running, it's not for you, like, I just never ever would have guessed it. And you just went all in and you're like, yeah, I'm just, I'm so proud of you. I can't, I honestly can't believe <laughs> that I can't it's believe, happening. I can't believe I'm doing yeah. it. And you're gonna do so well. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. I mean, I was saying to Steve, like, I feel like this, I might actually enjoy it tomorrow. Because mm -hmm. I thought like maybe I could push myself at some stage of my life to do something like that, but I never thought I could enjoy it. And I actually feel like I'm gonna enjoy it. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm getting a little bit nervous though. <laughs> I love you. This is my marathon label with my running number on. There you go, 2023 Brighton Half Marathon. Right, Steve has picked me up. We're ready. Yeah. How are you feeling, eh? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I think I'm a bit cold this morning. <laughs> so I've been trying to it warm is up. Chilly. We're driving to the start line, trying to find someone to park, and then we've still got a little while until the race starts, right? Look at this guy in the penny farthing, bro. Oh, what? And another guy. What the heck? Wait, what? There's three more of them. There are paces. <laughs> oh, legend, look at this guy. I think there's less than 30 minutes before the start. I'm not really sure they start on time, but I uh, definitely feeling the nerves a little bit. It's just weird, but yeah, I feel kind of excited and nervous. Whew. We're running in the time group 1.45 to two hours. That's what we're aiming for. So all these people are in that time group and we're following the pace setter. Nice, bro. We did it. We did it. No, we did it. We're also joined by Janetta, Alexis's mum. Bro, I might have to take my headband. I'm telling you, it's hot. It's gonna get I think I would just, do you want to just chuck that to Alexia? No, I'll put it in my bag. Okay, okay. Let's do this one. Okay. Here we go. Can I come on? Do this. Yeah. How are you feeling, Steve? Feels good. Beginning of the race. Feels good, yeah. Is it a race? It's an event. It's an event. It's a challenge. Challenge. There you go. I can't believe this is happening. Four weeks, bro. Four weeks ago, I'd be like, yeah, let's do a half marathon. <laughs> Running is more than just putting one foot in front of the other. It's a journey of self-discovery, a test of endurance, and a triumph of the human spirit. And for those who take on the challenge of a marathon, it's a transformative experience. In the early morning light, as the sun begins to rise and the world awakens, the marathon runner stands ready at the starting line. Heart pounding, breath quickening, they know that the road ahead will be long and gruelling. But they also know that with every step, they will become stronger, more determined, and more resilient. Hey! 
Alright, this is encouraging. Yeah, really encouraging. Yes, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Halfway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you feeling? Halfway. Tired, but, but, all right, all right. The crowd's helping, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone's being really supportive. But yeah. Woo. Okay, we're just over halfway. A little bit tougher than I was anticipating, but we're doing a little bit uphill here and there. Feeling a little bit better now. We're on the beach front again. Now it's down to Hove Lagoon and back again. And we're done. Yes, bro. Yes, really. Oh. Smashing it, bro. Oh. Smashing it. Good Thanks. Luck. Thank you. Thank you. I'm having to, having to dig a bit deeper here. Oh, I think we're 13k in, eight kilometres to go. Ooh. I'm. Uh, I think I might do one of my energy gels in a second. I think I've maybe crossed that barrier of enjoyment to endurance. Okay, 5k to go. I'm digging deep. Oh. I'm in pain. I think I've got blisters. My feet. My little toes are numb. Oh. Oh. My legs go heavy. Oh. Really hope we make the other two hours. We're on track. We don't slow down. For anyone who has ever dreamed of running a marathon, or for those who have already achieved this incredible feat, know that you are capable of more than you ever imagined. With discipline, dedication, and a never give up attitude, you can conquer any challenge that comes your way. So take that first step and keep going. Run with passion, run with purpose, and run with heart. And remember, the finish line is not just a destination, it's the beginning of a new journey towards greatness. Okay. Uh, I'm digging deep now. I'm run out of steam. My legs are heavy. Okay. One and a half kilometers to go. Oh, oh I'm so tired. Oh, this is tough. Oh, real tough. Oh, this is the last five k's. It's been pretty brutal. Oh. At this point in the run, I was slowing down. And if I couldn't pick up the pace again, I was not going to hit the goal of under two hours. It was time to dig deep and push through the pain. I was cutting it very close and I was losing my confidence. My body was desperate to slow down and give up, but I kept on pushing. All right, bro. Come on. One K to go. We're so close. You've worked hard for this, mate. Oh, my legs dug deep. Come on, bro. You got this, so proud of you mate. Oh, I got, it got very hard all of a sudden bro. You got this last little dig. Come on bro. You can see it. You can see it. That's right there now. Come on. Come on Louis. Come on Louis. Look how close you are bro. Look how close it is Louis. As the miles tick by, the runner's mind is filled with doubts and fears, but they push through the pain, drawing strength from within and from the cheers of the crowd. And when they finally cross the finish line, their joy and sense of accomplishment are beyond words. Oh, yeah, we did it, bro. Come on. Well done, mate. Oh my gosh, my legs. We did it. Well done, mate. The last 5k was tough. The last. Two cases. My legs are done. Right. Oh. Mate, oh. So the question is, did I make it under two hours? And amazingly, I just made it. 
with an official time of 1 hour 58 minutes and 1 second. It was such a great sense of achievement. Thanks to Steve for encouraging me to take on this challenge and for all the motivation. And thanks to Raya, my parents and all my friends for cheering me on. Also, thanks again to OnePlus for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel to follow my fitness journey. Also for my upcoming electric vintage beetle conversion project. See you in the next video.